Could global warming lead to the failure of an enormous current in the Atlantic Ocean, one that keeps much of North America and Europe out of a constant deluge of storms and snow? Perhaps. New research suggests that as a result of climate change, ocean currents in the Atlantic Ocean may not be as stable as current climate models suggest and could collapse in 300 years. Let's start with how important ocean currents are, because ocean water, both at the surface and deep down, is constantly on the move, affecting local climates and ecosystems all around the world. Differences both in the water temperature and the amount of salt in the water lead to differences in water density. Warm water from the South Atlantic as well as the Gulf of Mexico travels northward to the North Atlantic, which in turn cools and then sinks that water moves back down towards the south. This whole pattern is largely responsible for the relatively moderate climate in parts of Europe and eastern Canada. It's the start of a global conveyor belt, a connected system of deep and surface currents that circulate around the globe on a 1,000 year time span. And that's what scientists are worried might collapse one day. In the past, computer models found that a warming climate will most certainly affect the circulation, but not significantly, assuming that you're starting with stable conditions. But this new study argues that these currents aren't quite as stable as the models suggest. So the researchers ran the models, removing that bias. They found that within 300 years of doubling in carbon dioxide from 1990 levels, the North Atlantic Ocean current collapsed entirely. And that would mean much more severe winters and much stronger storms. And you thought our winters in eastern Canada were bad enough. But there's still a lot of work to be done in this field. And the researchers will be running more scenarios to see the varying outcomes. But the day after tomorrow disaster movie scenario might actually be realistic. Just 100,000 days after tomorrow. Stay tuned for more research. And now, you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.